Ferris Stadium in Clarksville, Tennessee. It's college football on this Saturday afternoon as the running Bulldogs of Gardner. And now DeLillo looking right. He's going to go that way. And coming back to make the catch, Shackelford. Trey Shackle. There it is. Now he'll come in motion on this third and five. They keep it on the ground. Jackson, he's hit. He spins off a tackler as he tries to fight forward to get the first down. He's going to be on this fourth and short. Fourth and about a yard. They will go quickly. At right up the gut, Javon gets the first down to the 48. That time the tempo paid off. I think to try to block up the middle there, Govs are able to capitalize on it. Govs keeping their same personnel. Coming back to it. Catch made by Goodman. Trey gets wrapped up as he'll get it to the uh, 40. See if they try to go to him later on. Nice pickup on first, so second. Jackson, very patient running that time, hoping something would open up. He could roll off a block. He'll fall full on Jackson. Big credit to this offensive line up front. Little RPO, and he'll throw it up for Shackelford. He readjusts and makes the grab. Oh, that was a beautiful. And now Javon just powers his way through and in for the touchdown. And that was precision-like offense down. The big play over the top, and you punch it in for the touchdown. Yeah, a lot of credit goes out there. Trace last week against Lindenwood, and he's picking up where he left off. PAT is up by Maddox Trujillo. It is good. And just like out there, prime time. Dion's there. We're going deep. Here he's got to go on third down. This is where he can really hurt you. Great feet as he can move athletic quarterback. Tough guy to break. Gardner-Webb team, and looks like they're going to stick to the uh, – to the uh, script here as well. As they go back to the ground, Javon's going to get a uh, empty backfield, spread him out. He's going to throw that way. He'll get it to Thomas. He'll head up the field to the 40. He spun around as he gets to the four up. Their regular starter banged up that right shoulder a week ago against Robert Morris here. King's going to rip it out and keep it. He'll get the first down or up very close to Yes, he will get it across to the. They've got two good running backs. We highlighted Jaden Brown, but Nari Gaither is back. He was out a week ago. He's one of their all time great backs at Gardner Webb. This pass out to Ishley when he just catches a short little maybe one yard route. King kind of double clutches and throws short. He needed to get to the 46, got it to the 48. There's going to come in motion out of the backfield. King is going to run, design, run all the way, and he's got a lot more. He'll bounce it out. He may go. Don't anticipate anybody catching him, and it just opened up for King. Ford on a fourth and short. He gets a bit of everything for the touchdown the run. Austin P was there. They had the guys trying to flush him out of the pocket. They knew it was the design run here. He ends up finding green grass and goes. Jay Billingsley, the PAT, is up. It is good. And we are tied up at seven. Deception. Second and long, DeLillo looking left all the way. Now he'll look back to his right. He'll rifle one out, caught by Shackelford. Trey puts on the Jets, and he'll get They are back in a good rhythm, staying with this personnel group. DeLillo looking right all the way. Now back across the middle. He'll hit Lyles, who's active early, and at the 45. Picks about a good gain, about six here. Second and five, we'll call it, as Thomas trying to get that lead blocked by Goodman. Second down, try to get somebody open. We saw Shackford. Looks like that's what they're going to try to do on the left side. And again, they'll go short to Goodman. Goodman will make the grab right at the first down mark. In that moment. 44-yard attempt by Trujillo. Plenty of distance, and it is good. Maddox, he was on everybody's scouting report. DeLillo kept it himself, and he paid for it as he gets brought down. Trey Dunson. With the, they go to Singleton underneath. Singleton trying to run after the catch to get anywhere close. And here's the, the push, the pile up, but he'll be stopped short. So he'll get it to the uh, 37 here. And he's got his man. And making a great adjustment to come back to it. That ball hung up in the air forever. And the catch is made, and that is Goodman. Pull down. It looks good. It is good. So Trujillo able to get a couple of field goals tacked on. So the Gubs, they'll throw it here short. And stopped at about the 28. Right back to Borders. He's going to get a first down. So he'll get it to the 39. So Borders, the red shirt sophomore from Shelby, North Carolina, able to move the sticks as King hooks up his Gardner Webb. The defender falls down, and the catch is made by Kareem Page. The sophomore gets another grab. And Gardner Webb's got Huggins with the catch. And he'll take it up near the 35. As Malik, 5'11", the return man, the red shirt sophomore out of Bradenton, Florida, gets the... He's going to take off. Can he get to the sticks? Cuts it back. He dives forward as he'll get it to the 30, and the sticks will move. That was a great run that time. 
Mike the field. He gets a knockdown at the 25 ball. Tackle by number six, Corey. They're going to say he's like down. Yeah, yeah, he's down. They Chapman. called it down. Corey Chapman was just celebrating the hit. Time, and he's trying to go into single coverage in the end zone. And here comes the flag. Yeah, I was anticipating it coming. Lewis back there. Pass interference. As he tries. Oh, he hits the upright. He'll miss it. Now five of eight on the year. The 22-yarder hits the right upright. And this is not bad if you start on first down with a big run by Javon Jackson. And this is going to be trying to get those Gardner Webb players. And Jackson will take it to the 38. And they'll go again. School record tying long field goal from 55. It was just like this series. Had about that much time and uh, just hard running. You're going to run it. you got to get up there as he gets it to midfield. Thomas streaking wide open. He missed him. He'll go short to Jackson. Javon's got to get out of bounds. He can't, and that'll do it. That'll end it for the first half as he's brought down at the 40. Well, in his first start, the true freshman here. A little back shoulder, and it's caught. Able to elude the tackler, Ephraim Floyd. If he's able to keep his balance, he was able to get single coverage here to Page, and he tries to jump over the route to get in front of the defender and wasn't able to against McIver. And McIver throws it short. Can he make a man miss to get there wrapped up? Great job by the Gubs and Sidarius Doss, the transfer from Tuskegee with a big stop. Shackleford will come back to this one from DeLillo. He'll be shy of a first down, but the Gubs got to get it going offensively now. They've, they've caught a couple of breaks. Run out. And DeLillo under pressure throws and it's dropped. Tried to hit Lyles who got active there in that first half. And he would have had the first down. He would have been right back over the middle and throws a tough catch at Singleton. Right smack dab in the middle of their zone, he makes the catch, and, and that, that was not an easy grab. It'll bring up third and a long nine. See if the Govs can convert on third down. They were able to a moment ago, but both teams have struggled. You mentioned, Barry, you were talking to me right in that break, and you said it's been super clean. Is it going to be a turnover that ends up making this one and Vantage Austin P. and we talked about it, it was much up. <laughs> He's high-fiving the student section right now, but watch this, beautiful read. They're Stop trying to throw it short there. Coach Clark and company, they gotta be proud of some of the things that they've seen in this contest. Just his first pick. This does, does he take classes in the Trey Hearn here on I campus? think so, Jose is. appearing in a play this weekend <laughs> after that move, but the officials didn't bite. And yeah, now we're seeing a little bit of the tempers flare, and we mentioned it there when Knifley had his a little bit of flop, but it started on that PAT at the end of this, but watch this. Just will move for a first down for GWU. And I think what happened there more than anything was you sent Gaither in motion. So your defensive backs are trying to see, are they going to try to run that there as well? Came in big number two, eight playing that D line spot. Probably a big Marshall Falk fan, you know? Yeah. D lineman says the read was uh, the correct one that time. They got great blocking. We've seen that yeah. today by these receivers. They do a nice job. Yeah, they uh, they came over and they and Bulldogs do get some points this time. And they are right back in this ball game. And we mentioned it in the pregame. That's what makes him so dangerous is the wheel route there around this governor's team. And good points. Nice job by that young freshman quarterback. After throwing the pick six, he takes his team right down the field, puts him in the flags all over back here at the 40. They're going to get a block to the back on Trey Goodman. It's going to be the call. Had to make the one man nose run there by Javon Jackson. He's now over 70 yards. I believe almost now over 80 for Javon Jackson. So again, just attacking is Javon here and, and again. And there's the big pass play again to Goodman. We'll see the look here. Barry, have I ever told you one of my favorite things in the world is trick plays? Because it is. <laughs> Flea flickers are one of my favorite. The big hit down to Goodman and Hawkins gets into the end zone. I mean, how about DeLillo staying in here on this throw though? We got to give a little bit of credit to him. So just a great little a little bit of a pick there. I mean, that's yeah. not going to be called. Because he loved that series. His veteran quarterback hung in there for that touchdown strike. And Goodman. Yeah, you had J.B. McCray. You had Young. You had Chapman. Take your pick. <laughs> <laughs> They're all back there in the backfield. And King, I mean. He wears on you, man. You get in that 20-plus uh, carries for this guy. If he breaks through the initial contain, he can punish someone in that secondary. 
Jackson up the gut a few times and then bang, you get single coverage. Barnes runs by his defender and DeLillo puts it right on him for another Austin P touchdown. Down to what this team can do and how they can be effective, Barry. You get Javon. Who had 11 catches prior to that. The first time he hits pay dirt and we'll head to a break. 34-14. They're gonna find more ways to get Brown involved as they head down the stretch in their conference play because this guy is, when he's had a few touches today, that's going to bring it fourth and long. A little bit of a situation here. There's nothing crazy between Doss and Brown. I just have never seen it before. Brown's jersey. Couldn't outrun all of them. Whitehead's going to bring it down at the 25. Well, one thing that you don't want from your receivers is a run back where all the big guys are. That's yeah. the one thing Stay you outside, don't want. man. Work yourself <laughs> back outside. I know the, Ooh, the sticks. Well, Cam doesn't care about it. He says, let me run with the big guys, I guess. That's fine. It's been working for him, so I guess keep going to it. It's a big-time stop. Let's see what they do here. Like I said, I, I think maybe trying to. And we have, looks like a timeout coming here. Yes, 34 four, uh, strengths and wins together. And, you know, they still got a shot at winning this conference. They lost at Tennessee State, but they beat Robert Morris at coming into play today. Pretty tough. They put up some big numbers so far yeah. this season, has UT Martin. Um, have one of my former players who's there on the offensive line. I talked to him as much as possible. And he lost to be, but hold everything. There's a flag back here. Back behind the play. That might be the rough in the passer call there. For Long, Tyler Long will get him, but, you know, he's hard guy to square up. You can't get a clean, really hit on him. And he is so elusive, and he's got that speed that if shoulder pads and pull down the big quarterback. Yeah, that's a great job there by Young the entire way. He was being held. You watch where the arms were by the offensive lineman. Look at that, right up on him. Frustrated with himself. He hurried himself up, sailed a pass right into the arms of Lyles, and the Gubs get another interception. And Jaden Lyles, more than likely one of the guys that had to come. You know, Barry, and we talked a little bit about the run game, and you, you, you mentioned it. I mean, you do have to get the run game going a little bit, but one of the things that Austin P does so effectively, we mentioned it, is this play right here. Big play to Trey. That's just Shackelford coming across on what looked like kind of like a drag post more than anything. He's getting across the field. He's coming all off more. He seems like he's been on an island today. He tried to get his head turned around, but way too much contact that time. The official throws the flag. Yeah, that was uh, – and it's weird, too, that <laughs> into the end zone. Four, uh, just beautiful read. Von Jackson's been wearing him down, 25 carries, 108 yards, a touchdown. Back to the mystery a few seasons ago when he started the streak. No one knew who was going to take over quarterback, and, and this guy emerges. and. That'll do it for this one. As they take the knee, the teams will meet one another. Two coaches have a lot of respect. They know each other really well. Well, this team, they get the win today, the first ever win against Gardner-Webb in the series in the third meeting. You get the sacks, you get the tackles for loss, and then your offense gets in a rhythm.